Hi friends, it's Eric here, and I'm reading this thing from Karen Tra. I was very <laughs> curious, why did you say I and it's like hierarchy? I consider myself egalitarian, but perhaps I don't find hierarchy the same way as you do. Maybe it's actually the better explorer on the topic of MBTI cult leaders, how to get previously loyal, loyal followers on YouTube. Well, the first question about hierarchy is, I got that notion from Socionics. Uh, it's a quadra value that they say alpha quadra prefers egalitarian uh, understandings of the world and beta quadra prefers hierarchical. But I think you're right in saying that the way that the socionics uses those terms is not exactly what is normally meant by those terms. For example, You might consider yourself politically egalitarian, like you're dem democratic, in the sense that you don't prefer aristocracy. But that doesn't mean that you're egalitarian by nature. To be egalitarian by nature is basically to afford very little faith uh, to expertise and experts and status and position and stuff like that. And to be more uh, hierarchical is to afford more weight to status, expertise, you know, experience, stuff like that. And the thing is, we it, neither way is inherently better from an individual's life's perspective. So, uh, in some ways, my anti-hierarchy nature gets me in trouble, and I might ex display the Dunning-Kruger effect where... I think I know about something, but I don't really know anything about it because it's actually really complicated, but I think I'm super smart, so whatever. And then I, you know, I, I say, I, I don't need a pilot to fly, fly this plane. I'll fly it just fine. I understand the concept of it. I'm sure I can do it. <laughs> you know, but of course, I actually can't do it. And so that stuff happens to me. That's the downside of being egalitarian. If you're an ENTP, you're not only egalitarian, but you're narcissistic, sort of. So it's not it's not so much about everybody's equal as I can do anything. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how much training or knowledge it requires. I could do it without any training or knowledge. It's kind of childish. Anyway, um, in contrast, though, hierarchians have their own problems because they're like, well, but he's the boss, so we should do it that way. And then, you know, and they, they don't get fussy if they think somebody's wrong, if they're the person in charge, then they just go, well, that's how it goes. I don't like that's how it goes. I like, yeah. So this mm -hmm. I, I like, I like, I don't like, I'm, I'm totally egalitarian. I don't like hierarchy in any form. Um, especially when hierarchy is is passed down such as an aristocracy or when respect is demanded but not earned um, i like all I am all hierarchy for, hereditary i'm all for respecting um people who have knowledge and who have um attained um uh, knowledge based milestones in their life but I do not point, like, there's no point in respecting people who have knowledge. If they're saying something knowledgeable, fine. They respect their knowledge or whatever. But well, that's that's, that's what that's what I mean. That's that's yeah. basically I mean, what I mean. I don't, is, I don't respect I, I, this person. About respect. That's another video we should do. I want to talk about this top. This word respect and what it means and why we're all obsessed about it. I'm obsessed about it. So I used to be. I don't seem to be anymore. But or I don't feel like I am anymore. I don't know. Who knows? I probably still am. Who cares? The point is I want to talk about it. But that's not the answer. Let me finish up with Cheeky Poo's comment. All right, so Karen Tra said that maybe I should debate that I throw around the topic of MBTI call leaders and how to get particularly loyal followers. Well, I don't know how to do that, so I don't, I don't want to debate that topic because I'd probably lose. I mean, he has the, the uh, metrics to point to that would suggest that I'd lose. So that's probably a debate I'd avoid. Anyway, <coughs> thanks for watching Talking to Funny People and don't <coughs> forget to eat plenty of cheese. It's the only way you'll become a freakish, freakish, freakishly loyal follower of Talking to Funny People.